Well, now we move on to Young Journalist of the Year. This was the Melbourne Press Club's first ever award. Its purpose is to recognise bright young talent under the age of 25. The award is now in its 19th year and is funded by the wife of David Wilson, Miss Josephine Nichols, and the Wilnick Family Trust on behalf of David Wilson. As many of you would be aware, David died in 2008. He was a Walkley Award-winning investigative reporter who headed the Age Insight team for many years. He mentored many young journalists attached to the Insight team and was the first Australian journalist to attend the IRE conference in the United States. Unfortunately, Jo can't be here this evening to present the award, so she's asked Michael Smith, David Wilson's colleague, friend and business partner, to present the award on her behalf. So please make welcome to the stage to present the award, Michael Smith. And this year's winner is off to the US to attend the IRE conference in Boston in June. A special thank you to the Wilnick family who do sponsor the award and American Airlines who provide air travel within the US. Now, highly commended in this category, Mitchell Toy from the Sunday Herald Sun. Mitchell took multi-skilling to a new level with impressive multimedia coverage of the Qantas grounding and filming the Victorian floods from the air before doing a voiceover for the internet. Also highly commended in this category, Adrian Lowe from The Age. Adrian was congratulated for an important news break on proposed mandatory minimum sentences of two years jail for 16 and 17 year olds convicted of gross violence. I'd now like to ask Michael to announce the winner. From the Herald Sun, the winner is Amelia Harris. The judges said Amelia's portfolio of stories on police and safety issues was impressive for its quality, impact and style. She displayed the full suite of professional skills, exclusive news breaking, spot news reporting, patient investigation, data analysis and colour writing. The judges concluded she's a journalist with a wonderful future. We certainly do. Thank you, Michael, for that, and congratulations to Amelia.